So there is a brand new D&D book coming out. You worked on this book. What is that book? Yes, it is called Journeys Through the Radiant Citadel, and it is amazing. It is a set of adventures and places that were all written by people of color from their lived experiences. Uh, the book explores uh, over 13 new locations, adventures with each one of those. Um, it has new kind of monsters and uh, journeys <laughs> that you explore through this central location, uh, the Radiant Citadel, which is housed in the ethereal plane. Uh, and is kind of the, the nexus point that you can go through all these different locations through. I wrote um, Salted Legacy, uh, and it is a level one and two adventure, so we combine levels for it. Um, it takes place in the Dinsing Night Market, which is basically this um, town-sized night market that exists, like nestled within my, the region I created, Saab Sung Ko. So it's like, uh, like mountains and farms, and in the middle is this giant market. God's Breath is really a love letter to slash homage to the black experience in the US South. And so just such an amazing opportunity for me to put like a black diaspora experience within the world of Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, my adventure is uh, steeped in kind of Persian culture and lore and all of the cool uh, aspects of mythology and culture that maybe uh, Dungeons & Dragons players haven't gotten to experience in the past. My location is called Tzantzitlan. It's basically a uh, homage to Mexico. Uh, I try to make it, uh, you know, base it off my experiences. Uh, growing up in the north of Mexico because Mexico is just like a very diverse country so it's impossible to just represent all of it in a single place. So the approach that I took was just take from my experiences and uh, try to make it as genuine to my experience uh, as a Mexican as possible. The adventure that I wrote is called The Night Sea Succor and it's an adventure for 12th level characters. I would say it's a ghost story and a story of intrigue. It's a story that spans from the grand civilization of Jani, which has waned in some ways, but the spirit is still strong. It's still a beacon of hope for the, it's still a beacon of self-sovereignty for the locations around to the deepest reaches of the sea in a phantasmagoric setting called Jania. There are often expeditions that go into um, the past and uh, Barry Dynasty is one of these expeditions um, in which, because the characters are at 13th level, the Grand Secretary Wei, who runs the entire government on behalf of the emperor, she is personally hiring them to um, escort her expedition into a part of the city that's particularly treacherous. Um, it's new, newly discovered, and um, she believes that the knowledge that's down there from a previous dynasty is gonna be really beneficial to the current one. I, I wanted to feel big. I wanted it to feel epic, sprawling. I wanted the characters to feel like there is like, there is like a, there are universes at, and the, it like, like on the edge of a knife, you know, waiting, that will explode if they don't like get there in time and take care of business. So to me, it felt like, well, I, I mean, I love Otagua because it's, it's based on uh, where my family's from, Venezuela. Uh, and it has like, it's inspired by the, 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 terrain, the terrain there, which to me feels magical and a little surreal. I also wanted more. I was very greedy. I want them to go to the Feywild and a different kind of Feywild. And then at the end, I wanted them to go to a terrifying alien place, which is the Far Realm. I really loved like learning about the other settings that people were working with and seeing how folks who share some cultural legacy still come up with really wildly different ideas. I think sometimes there can be a, a misperception in the world as a whole that sort of there's only sort of one thing. It's like, we got Wakanda and we're done. But there's like a hundred different stories, a hundred different types of stories. And I really like loved being on a team where I could see just a few of those stories taking shape and see where we could possibly go, you know, in the future. And I hope to work with so many of these folks again and like tell stories and, and create the worlds for other people to tell stories in. Like that's the thing that excites me.